Hello, my name is Peter Onsorge. On behalf of the European Academy for Environmental Medicine and the Deutschen Berufsverband Klinischer Umweltmediziner, I want to welcome you to this video. I want to speak about the current environmental health risk assessment and that it fails due to the toxicological wrong scientific approach. If you see this system, on the ordinate there are effects on the abscess, the burden, then we have a toxicological no observed adverse effect level in this red line you see. Under this level no effect is seen by toxicology. There's a second line in yellow here. This is the threshold value. Above this value threshold is named, all, the, all reactions are named acute intoxication. Below this threshold we have the toxically burden, which means there's something to investigate on. We have some measurements, but we, have, we don't have any real toxicological accepted reactions which make you ill. Toxicology only follows the monolinear causal approach. That means the dose effect relationships, if you have a, a low dose, you don't have any effect. Probably you stay under the no oil. You only have effect if you cross the threshold value. Monolinear and not multilinear. This is only examinated for one toxin. This doesn't interpret the real life. Let me give you an example. You buy a new carpet, put it into your bedroom, go to sleep, and next morning you wake up with headache, bleeding nose, dizziness. What happened? Of course you think about poisoning. You go back from where you bought it and tell, tell them I want to get it out. Oh no, they say that's normal. The first days everybody is uh, thinking about poisoning, but you only have to open the windows, heating the room, get out all the toxins out of the windows and go to sleep on your couch in the living room. Do this for four weeks and you are rid of the toxins. So you do this and after four weeks you go back to the bedroom, bedroom and you are quite alright. You have a good sleep, nothing else what's bothering you. And to be secure you make an investigation there, sampling investigation. And all the toxins are under the no OIL. So you are content. But what happens? Under this low L, all those toxins, mostly lipophilic toxins, they accumulate in a long time low dose. And toxicologists only look for their endpoints after 1.5 or 2 years. But lipophilic toxins are able to, 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 uh, to build up depots over years. It might be 10, 20, 40 years. As long as this carpet is inside your living room, he will evaporate toxins. And as long as you inhalate all of those toxins, they will be stored, either you can throw it out. Accumulation will happen in the fatty tissue, in bone and in the nervous system. One more, toxicology is not being aware of mobilization out of this depots. In some circumstances, heating, sauna, or you get another solvent, you inhale another solvent, 
or you have a um, heavy virus infect, or you have a um, very excessive sport like this, you might mobilize out of your fatty tissue all those toxins which are deposited there. Toxicologist is not aware of multiple load with additive and multiplying effects. We know only one literature in Oldenburg, Professor Witte, who did this with three toxins and proved additive and multiplying effects. Toxicologists disregard neuroendocrine immune system, the reaction on the system, individual susceptibility and individual vulnerability. All this has to be done to make a real good environmental health risk assessment. For this effective environmental health risk assessment, we have to leave solely toxicologically approach. Open your mind for complex systems science. Thank you.